What is going on, Amp Clan? It's Amp Reckoner here, bringing you guys another Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gameplay. Of course, you can see the stats there. This is Amp Spawn. He is not a reverse booster. He is actually just amazing at this game. I know that's hard for you to handle that he's this much better than you, but he is. What he did is he got a triple nuclear here on the map Slums using the Scar H, so that's pretty amazing. I mean, nuclears are a lot harder to get than Moabs. I mean, it's 30 kills instead of 25, so that's just straight math right there. And um, also, you don't have specialists. It's a lot easier to die in Black Ops 2. Model for 3, when you had specialists, it was like, no one can kill me. I am the super soldier. So this is three nuclears. That's very impressive. Let's all clap for him. Let's all fat for him. Good for Amp Spawn. You know, that's Amp Spawn is the man for busting up this gameplay. Uh, long gameplay here, long commentary, so I'm not going to spend all my time talking about the gameplay. It's not really my style anyways, if you heard me before. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to share an amazing story that happened to me. Really hilarious story. It's hands down the zaniest, wackiest thing that's ever happened in my in my life. So I'm going to get right into it here and entertain you guys. you got to stay tuned for this whole story. It's going to blow your mind. Okay, so I live in Abbotsford, BC, and um, I guess it was maybe like two years ago. Me and my friends, we went up to a trip to Edmonton. It was just a few of us meeting up with other, uh, guys we knew who lived in Edmonton. And so we spent like a week up there. It was pretty sweet. There were uh, six of us in total. And one of the nights we went bowling. And so we're either bowling, we're having a good time, we're just chilling. And suddenly I look down and there's there's six girls a few lanes down from us bowling. And I'm like, whoa, hella. Like, these are good looking girls. So I get the guys, I'm like, hey, there's six of us, there's six of them. Let's go over there, let's chat them up. And so we head over there chatting up the girls one of the girls she sat down she's really hot and I'm like freaking out I'm trying to trying to bust out my moves on her you know and um, so she sat down chilling and I'm like hey you want to get up and bowl like and she's like man nah, that's I'm cool I'm like okay whatever so I keep talking to her um, finally I get her number which is pretty sweet we're texting like the whole night things are getting hot and heavy and then finally she's like hey you want to take me out on a date tomorrow and I'm like hell yeah I want to take you out on a date tomorrow let's do this and so she gives me her address I borrow my buddy's SUV who's uh, we were up there with Edmonton he let me take the SUV for the night so that was sweet so I had my own ride and so I'm following the directions on my phone because she texted me her address and it's a pretty flat area but as I'm going towards her house like I keep getting higher and higher up this hill and the houses are getting bigger and bigger and bigger and I'm freaking out like no joke, like, every time I think I'm done, like, I go higher and higher. More houses, like, that are getting huge. I'm like, holy crap, this girl's loaded. So finally, I get to, like, the very top, and, like, her house looks like Bruce Wayne's Manor. Like, I am shitting my pants. Like, I'm like, this girl is, I don't know, her dad is, like, the president or something. Or, like, I don't know what's going on. Or maybe her mom brings home the bacon. Who knows? So I go up, walk up these fancy steps to the front door, knock on this big wooden door. I'm like, what is going on? This is like a dream. And then the dad answers the door, and he uh, he looks like James Bond. He's got this crazy suit on. Like, I'm so intimidated, and he's like, so uh, what are your plans for my daughter? And I'm just like, don't say do her, don't say do her, don't say do her. And then I say, um, you know, we're just going to eat or something. Like, I'm just like panicking. And he's like, all right, just have her home by 11, maybe 12. He says, he says 12. I think he said 12. 12 would be fine. And then it's like, all right, cool. And then all of a sudden I hear this buzzing, like bzzz. I'm like, what's going on? Does he have a vibrator? Is he about to rape me? And suddenly I look past him, and there she is. Her name was Beth. I didn't even mention her name. Uh, she's coming down on one of those handicapped chairs that comes down the stairs, and, like, my jaw drops. Like, she is a paraplegic. Like, I can't even, like, I just, I freaked out, like... I'm thinking back to the night before, like, when was she standing up? She was always sitting down. Holy crap, she's handicapped. And it just kind of rocked my world. So she's buzzing down on this chair. The dad's staring at me. I'm staring at him. Like, he's trying to figure out, like, if I knew. Like, I don't even know what's going on. So she comes down. Like, all right, have her home by 11. I'm like, holy fuck. And then so I wheel her out back. We take the elevator downstairs. I help her into the SUV. She wants McDonald's. So that was weird, too. So we get some burgers. I'm like, man, this is, this is crazy. Um... And then she says, like, I've got this really cool lookout spot that we can go chill at. And so we go up there, we drive up there, we eat our burgers, and, like, we just have the best time. We're talking about all sorts of things. Like, she's into sports. It's super cool. That's kind of ironic that she's into sports. And um, so it's just crazy. I'm, like, totally forgetting that she's handicapped. You know, that's it's a big deal. Yeah, I'm a young dude, you know. I mean, things got to things gotta fire work. Anyways, so I'm, like, having a great time. 
I just forgotten that she's handicapped. Um, it's it's awesome. I'm like, this girl's great. And so she says, like, yeah, we should go back. I realized we lost track of time. It's like 1.30. I'm like, whoa, this is crazy. So we head back to her house. On the way up to her house, though, she says, like, let's go to this park. I want to hang out there for a bit. We're already late. I'm like, okay, whatever. So we go to this park. I'm wheeling her, like, through the gravel in the park. Like, boop, 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 boop. And then uh, she wants to go on the swing. So I'm pushing her on the swing for a bit. We're still having a nice time. Out of nowhere, all of a sudden, she's like, do me. Do me here. And I'm like, what? Like, what is going on? Like, do you? How do I do you? And she's like, just, she leans back on the swing, kind of like, and she's like, just hold up my legs here on the swing. And I'm like, what? And so, you know, I, I get there on the swing, like, I hold her back. I'm like, okay, this is actually happening. Like, and then she, like, so we get to the going, like, this is happening. And the funny thing is her legs kept hitting me in the back of the head, just her legs kept swatting me, and like, this, okay, this kind of hurts, like, do you mind if I tie her shoes together around the back of my head, and she's like, okay, whatever works, so I tie her legs around the back of my head, we're getting to the going some more, I finish, I don't know if she did, because, you know, she's handicapped, and so, that was awesome, and we're, she's like, oh, that's great, and then, so that was sweet, take her back home, I'm freaking out, like, this was the weirdest night of my life, and then, so she goes upstairs, she buzzes along in her chair, and her, her dad comes down, and he calls me into her study, into his study, rather, so this is freaking me out, his study's like, bookcases, big desk, I'm like, he's gonna scold me for taking her back late, and he's like, he sits me down, and he's like, you know, I'd like to thank you for what you did tonight, a lot of guys wouldn't really have done this, you did, I really appreciate it, I'm like, hey, you know, it's no problem, she's a great girl, and he's like, you know, she was the most popular girl in school, everybody loved her, tons of friends, and she got in this accident about a month ago, she's just coming to terms with it, and I just think it's really great what you did. And he's like, take this hundred bucks. I'm like, no, 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 no. I, I'm not going to take that. And he's like, no, you've got to, man. You've got to take this money for being such a great guy. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm not taking this money. And he's like, you've got to. And I'm like, why do I have to take this money? And he's like, the last six guys left her on the swing. Boom, boom, chee!